Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna take a break from the GTR and actually work on the FRS. And I've been planning this for a while. I've had this piece just sitting around. Basically we're installing some carbon fiber paddle shifter replacements for the FRS. So for those of you that don't have automatics, the stock ones have like the silver trimmed paddle shifters. And with my interior, I have so much carbon in there now, it would really just complete the look if I replaced that. So instead of opting for the 3M adhesive paddle shifter extensions, I got full replacements from Carbonful, great company. I met Edmund on Facebook, he runs the company. Uh, super nice guy, can't wait to get these things installed. And let's get started. Excuse the dirty engine bay, but before we get started, we need to disconnect the battery so the airbag doesn't explode in our face when we're working on it. So first thing to remove the steering wheel is you need a flathead screwdriver, and there are three inserts that you basically put this into, and you release the clips. I'll show you that in a second. Basically push each one in with the screwdriver, and then there's one right there from the holes on the outside, and then you'll be able to release the airbag off, and then you basically, after that, have to remove these two wires with uh, using this same tool, as well as a small clip that just undoes itself. So these two can be a little difficult if you're doing it the first time. You need to get the flathead screwdriver under this yellow piece and then pry it up, and then you can put it under the orange piece and pry the whole thing off. Do the same with the black, and then this one just pops right off of the edge, um, and then you can take the whole airbag off. For the next part, you need to undo these two clips from the top, and then you need a 19 millimeter to undo that center bolt. So for some people, they could just take off the steering wheel and that works, but for this steering wheel in particular, and you might have this problem too, it doesn't want to come off very easily. So what we're doing is we have a steering wheel removal tool. You could buy something like this at your local auto parts store, and you basically put these two ends in, like that, and then this center one basically will allow you to take off the wheel without having to use like your own force. So as you can see, using that tool made it very easy to pry off and do be careful with these wires and they don't come off when you take off the wheel because this piece right here, I heard is very expensive to replace. Um, but once you do that, you'll have access to the backing which is where we'll unscrew the paddle shifters and insert the new ones. So it's my understanding that you just need to unscrew these four screws and then you could just replace the paddle shifters. We'll see how that goes. So it really was that easy. Just those four screws, unscrewed them. Um, I did have to also undo this wire because it wraps around under to release the two paddle shifters and put the new ones back on. But besides that, super easy. Um, and I'm just gonna install it back in the car now the same way I took it off and we should be good to go. All right, we got the whole thing back together and I gotta say, it looks really good. They feel nice. They're OEM replacements, so they're still just as responsive as the OEM ones that came with the car. Um, it's just, it's great. And it was a lot easier to put the wheel back on uh, than taking it off, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, this is the final product and I am very impressed. Really like how they came out. So that marks the end of the install and overall it's an amazing product. I really like the way these came out over the OEM ones. The silver just didn't really look that great, especially with all the carbon already in the interior. And um, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That would help the channel out. And I hope this helped your project. Until the next one, see ya.